Hi guys, I'm Becky, my channel's What Beck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. So you're going to be a bit wobbly because you're in my hand and I apologise about that. But today is so brum day and I thought I would vlog the experience for you. So I'm currently in the car at the train station, about to go and get on the platform to meet the lovely Grace on board the train. And then we're heading to Birmingham New Street where I am going to be meeting up with the lovely Adele from Sofa Serenity. Now, now, I was going to film and take photos of what I'm wearing this morning, but if I'm honest with you guys, I just haven't had any time. Um, we've got a full house of children this weekend, and it's just been one of those weekends where none of that's happened. So I am wearing my um, Davenport dress out of this gorgeous um, fabric that I got from Textile Fabrics. I feel that this is quite autumnal. Um, I've got a vest underneath and hope that it'll keep me warm because I don't actually have a jacket, which may be a bad idea considering the Storm Babette is here and uh, let's face it I'm likely to get wet whilst I'm standing on the platform Um, I'm wearing my beautiful jazz and owl jazz and owl jazz and wow earrings in these heart shapes that have got the lovely pink and the red mix um with clear but they're just nice and subtle it's just a subtle nod to the red um and i've gone for a bit of a twiggy look today i must admit i was looking at myself as i was uh because of the fringe i think and the eyeliner and then the bright lippy i just feel a bit twiggy like but there we go so that is what i am wearing i'm gonna go and pay for a ticket and i'm going to hop on the train i'm going to take you on the journey with me that is so brum today and hopefully you'll enjoy it Sunday so we are the following day the reason that I am doing this bit today is because by the time I actually got back last night it was dark and um, you can't film in this house when it's dark so I've got lots of things to show you and where I left you yesterday um and then I've added in some footage before this clip I know that much um I went and met Adele at the train station with the lovely Grace and we wandered over to the indoor rag market so we did the rag market first went to outdoors and then we went up to Barry's and then from Barry's we went to the Mose Exchange and then from Mose Exchange we went up to Guthrie Garney. Um, and the reason we did it in that order was because we wanted to hit the rag market nice and early because sometimes it can all start to shut down in the afternoon so we wanted to make sure we got all of that done and then we'd also be over at Guthrie Garney when the raffles were drawn. So, so Brown, one of the things that they do is they raise um, money for the charity which I believe is a women's shelter of some kind but I can't remember the full details of it. So so when we buy our raffle tickets that donations go into that and when we pay I think it's just the four pound that we paid um to get entry to some of the shops upstairs or some of the the uh, pop-up shops upstairs um 
that also went to the charity. So it was quite nice. And when we got to Mo's Exchange, there's like a lovely little community area with tea and coffee and biscuits that so you could go and sit down and talk to a few people that had already been shopping or it's like a base that you could go back to. It was quite good. Um, we got to see the lovely Karen from So Little Time. I got to meet Claire in person, who's somebody that I've been following on Instagram. She's joining me at my social next week, which I'm quite looking forward to. And then we got to go upstairs and we got to do a bit of shopping up there as well. So by this point, we'd already done quite an extensive amount of shopping. We didn't really need to do more. And the lovely Pigeon Wishes was upstairs. Um, who else was up there? There was the Little World of Fabric that's like a Liberty Starkist. Um, and yeah, there was just, there was lots of things. Maven Patterns was up there. I know I'm going to forget them, so I'm not actually going to talk about all of them because if I do forget one, I'm going to feel really guilty. So from there, when we went to go through Ghani, they had the big swaps table upstairs with all the fabrics. We were able to put our fabric down. Adele had bought a garment to swap. I hadn't, I was a bit conscious about swapping something I'd made because I was just, you know, you're a you, you're worried that you're going to be judged I don't know why but you're worried that you're going to be judged which is a shame because actually there was loads of lovely stuff on the rails and um I would have quite enjoyed being able to look and take somebody else's garment away but um Adele bought something to swap so she managed to um take something away and I did bring some fabric to swap and I did take some fabric away and I'll show you that in a little while as to what I bought so that was just how the day was mapped I am so lucky to have such wonderful sewing friends and be part of this sewing community. I had the best day. It was what I needed after quite a, um, a, a difficult evening the night before. And um, I have stayed within my budget, which I am pleasantly surprised about. So I took, and I'm going to be completely honest with my finances, so you are fully aware because there is a hefty amount of stuff in front of me, but I want you to know how much I actually spent because when you think about how much I've come away with, I think I've done amazing. Um, so I took £25 in cash out and I took that to the market with me and I also had a give or take one or two pound I think in change and then I also had £180 in the bank to spend and because I knew that this was coming I'd been saving for it so it was a blowout but this is me I like fabric I could blow out at any point and I have got a huge amount in front of me. So I think I'm going to start in the order that I actually bought it because that would be quite nice. And I can remember the order that I bought it as well. So when we went to the market, the first couple of stands that we came across was these haberdashery shops um, or pop-up um, pop market stalls. These haberdashery market stalls that were just covered in so much stuff. And I saw, I didn't get anything from the first one that we went to, but the second one we went to, I picked up these. These are like little um, appliques that can go on your clothing. So, for example, this would be a great one to go around a neckline. But I bought two because actually I think these would be amazing on a shoulder like that coming into the neckline. If you do it further out like that. So, yeah, I bought two of these. Um, I'm not sure when I'll use them, if I'll use them, but if I bought plain... If I bought some plain black fabric, this would be quite a nice sort of um, bling for my outfit, so to speak. So yeah, I bought two of these. These were only 50p each and I thought they were an absolute bargain and they are beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. So that was the first purchase that I made of yesterday. Now I am going to caveat what I've bought. Caveat. I'm going to say this. I think you are going to be very surprised at what I have bought. Very surprised. Because it's not... I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a couple of Becky things in here. But it's not the typical things that you see. We can tell we're going into winter. So the other thing I bought from the same haberdashery store was this gorgeous trim. I wanted to get some bits to bling up some plain fabrics. I made an item last year... Um, I think it was like the Seamwork Brit jumper. It didn't quite, it doesn't actually quite fit me that well. So it ended up going in my scraps. But one of the things that I loved was I'd blinged up my sleeve <coughs> and I'd put a bit of trim around one of the larger areas that, was, was, that, that didn't matter because it wasn't going to stretch out. So you can use this trim here. The trim could be used um, under a neckline. It could be used on, or it could be used across here. So you could use it like just as an extra feature there. 
Um, they're just lovely things to have. So I bought that particular one. I've got a meter of that. It's very glittery and I'm getting covered in glitter. And then from a different um, haberdashery stand, I bought this one, which is very similar to the one that I used on my last garment. The last one that I used was purple and gold. And this is pink with the greens in it and yellows and purples, all my sort of colours. And I thought that, that would be really nice to bling up a garment with as well. So the last piece of hab haberdashery stuff that I bought was some zips. So when um, we were going past. I've got some Sherpa fabric that I got from Fabric Godmother um, called the Rory Sherpa fabric and I've got it in the brown colourway and I really want to make a half zip jumper. So we were having a look for some half chunky zips that I can do. So I've bought this one. Now this is actually really long. It's not as long as I need. It's far too long for what I actually need but I think that I'm just going to take it up and then I can use it the way that I need to. So yeah, that is bought with that intent because it's a brown colour and I thought it was really nice. It was really nice quality. I got that for a pound, which I thought was quite nice. And this one here, which was really good quality as well. I got that for 75p. And this one here, I got for 50p, which is another really nice short version. Because I did buy, this one would also do really well for the half zip. And it's black and I can use either black or brown for what I need it for. So I was really pleased with both of those buys. So that is what I got from the market. So that was the haberdashery that I bought from the market. What about the fabric? The fabric that I bought from the first stand was a gorgeous plain rib jersey. It was this lovely rib fabric here. And you can see it's ribbed on one side. And then just on the back, it's nice and smooth. Where's the back? The back, 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 back here. So on the back, it's nice and smooth. So ribbed on one side, nice and smooth on the other. I bought four metres of this. It was two pound a metre. Now, for this particular one, it's just a staple that I felt that I needed to have in my wardrobe. Um, I could make a turtleneck. I could make a cardigan. There's four metres there, so there is plenty to make plenty with it. So I'm really, really pleased with that. To be fair, as soon as I saw it, I beelined for it because it's something that I'm considering making up a black turtleneck to go underneath my, um, again, Fabric Godmother linen that I got um, that's got the leopard print. So it's the brown colour, but it's got the bold leopard print on it. And I thought I'd make a Zadie jumpsuit. I can shove some tights on for the winter, lengthen it and then um, put a polar neck underneath so I can wear it in the winter just as much as wearing it in the summer. So that was my real reason for beelining for them. The next thing I bought from this store, well, the last thing I bought from this store, and I'll be honest with you, I could have spent a lot more money here. I think actually not taking more cash out with me was the best thing I could have done because it made me really think about what I wanted um, rather than just going into a Becky frenzy <laughs> and purchasing lots. There was a jersey fabric that was covered in animal print that I really wanted and I was quite afraid I didn't get it. But I did get this. This is a lovely quality fabric and it is this here. So it's in this beautiful blue and it's like a woven fabric and uh, it's, it's like knitted in. I don't know how to, I don't know what you'd call this but it's just stunning. And I know exactly what I want to make with it. I want to make the Heather Blazer. Adele was kindly looking up on her phone how much fabric I would need for it. Um, so I ended up buying two meters of it. Now, we don't know what the truth is. We don't know how much this would have cost in the shops, but the quality of this feels amazing. And he told me that he got it from a shop that was closing down and it was selling for £24 a metre. Now, I can full well believe this was an expensive fabric once because it does feel like good quality. Um, now, I got this for £4 a metre. So it cost me £8 in total for two metres of this. And I just love it. And to go with this, we went down a couple of um, couple of stalls down. We went to another market stall that had lots of different things on it. And um, this was one ninety nine a metre. And it's just like a lining fabric. And I thought this would be perfect 
to go with this to be lined. In fact, Adele pointed it out to me. And at that store, we bumped into the lovely Asma and Fove um, from Sewing Bee. So that was also very nice. So yeah, I bought both of those and I'm really, really pleased with that. So I will have a blazer there that will have cost me £10. £10? £12 to make. And it should be really nice and good quality. So that was all I bought on the indoor market. And then we went to the outside. There was a couple of stalls out there and there was two particular stalls that we liked. Um, and I went to Beeline for one that had 50p a metre. And when we got there, there was loads. I mean, I could, to be honest with you, I could have bought about three or four different colours of some of the jerseys that they had on the stall. So the first thing I bought, they had this Ponte Roma in this gorgeous royal blue. Now I have seen exactly the same sort of Ponte Roma on Legend Textiles. Um, and that's only 199 a metre, but this was 50p a metre. And I would say it's exactly the same as the other ones that I've got in my stash. So um, I'm not concerned about the quality there. So I got two metres of that as it was only 50p. I thought two metres of that, I could make a, a comfortable top or something out of it. Um, and it's one of those colours that I wear quite well. It's like a nice cool tone. Um, so yeah got one extreme to another um but yeah i do love this this color on me and i thought a pound for two meters of that bargain gotta have it and the next thing that i bought i really fell in love with this i am denied about getting it and i don't know why because again it was 50p a meter um but it's this black knit i'm hoping that the knit shows up on the screen the way that i can see it it feels lovely now it's a very lightweight knit but it feels lovely. And this was 50p um, a metre. But, you know, the reason I'm putting it across my skin is because you can't see underneath. You, I know you can when you hold it like that, but wearing it, I'd be able to wear it just fine and not have, um, not, and it wouldn't be see-through. And I've bought two metres of this. Now, there's a couple of different things I could do with this. Um, one could be cardigan that I could wear with anything because it's black. I can just, you know, top it up. Good layering piece. Um, another thing, super top by itch to stitch. Be lovely as a back wing top. Um, and then the other thing I was thinking was a um, cow neck dress or something like the Tilly and the Buttons Freya. Maybe not that particular one, but that's the kind of image I've got in my head that is an everyday staple in the winter and is really versatile because of the colour. So I could wear a statement piece with it and this would just be that bit that sits underneath so i know it's black guys i know it's a very plain color for me but i thought it was perfect i mean equally it'd make a lovely billy sweatshirt it'd make it make it could be anything but for one pound a meter for 50p a meter i got two meters of it i wish i'd got more um i'm just so happy with that purchase so that was everything i got from the market so You've got two, four, six, eight. So there's 12 metres of fabric from the market for 25 quid. I don't think that is bad at all. So feeling very good about everything that I'd bought and how little I'd spent, we wandered over to Barry's. So here is my Barry's haul bag. Now in Barry's, you can go up and down the aisles, but in the center, they've got two pound pieces um, that you can buy as well, so or one pound. So you've got like a, a big spread of fabrics that are one pound a meter. You've got a big, big spread of fabrics that are two pound a meter. I spent 57 pound, in, no, I didn't. I spent 53 pound in Barry's because um, we got discount. Um, anybody that was going to sew Brum got a 10% off at Barry's. So I bought that was full price, two fabrics, and then I bought two fabrics that were not full price and um, that were on the two pound stand. So I did try to look at some coating fabrics in there. I really struggled to find one that I was like, that's a Becky fabric, that's something I want. Um, the one that I did find there, there just wasn't enough. And I was trying to avoid all the viscoses, but they did have some viscose at a good price. Um, and when I came across this, which is actually a crepe, which isn't a fabric I wear very often because I'm not keen on it, but the print on this, I just couldn't resist. So this has got these gorgeous purples and blues in it, and it's just stunning. I got three meters of this 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but I thought three meters is um, a good amount in case I want to make a nice dress or it might be one of those uh, fabrics that I put away till the summer because it is very lightweight and I would say it's more spring summer tones than it is winter or autumn winter. But I haven't made my mind up yet, so I'm going to pop it through the wash either way, pop it on Stash Hub and then make a decision. So three meters of this from Barry. So that was a viscose fabric. And then I got some needle cord. I got two meters of this. This was eight pound 99 a meter, I believe. Eight pound 95 a meter. Oof, matching needle cord. Um, I have been wanting some bright pink, um, Becky pink needle cord for a little while now. And I do want to make a pair of um, dungarees with them. Now I've got the Yanta pattern and I've got the Heyday dungarees. And I think the Heyday dungarees, because I haven't actually made them yet, is the one that I'm gonna go for. Um, Adele has made a beautiful pair of dungarees recently that I really, really liked. And I think that these would be perfect. And I'm hoping that there's enough fabric there to get it out of. So yeah, two meters of this. Um, and I'm, oh God, it's just, but such a beautiful colour. It is such a beautiful colour and I am so pleased. And you will not miss me in a crowd wearing that, will you? So that was the second thing that I picked up. And then I picked up a couple of bits off of the two pound stand. So there was quite a lot of fabric on there. I could have got plenty, um, but I was, I was, I don't know what was wrong with me. I was quite, quite good, I think. Um, so the first thing I got was this velvet fabric here. Um, in this giraffe print, which I thought was amazing. Um, so this is, it is a jersey type fabric. It's got one way stretch to it. Um, I don't think the recovery on it is gonna be brilliant. So I think I'm gonna need to think about that when I am making something. So maybe something that doesn't require too much stretch. It's only two meters that I got of this. I think this would make a gorgeous Monroe turtleneck. Um, and the only place you'd actually need the stretch is in the actual turtleneck. Um, but I'm still open to ideas on this one. So if you have got any ideas, please give us a shout. I've only got two metres of it. But it'd be nice to hear what you think. Again, this would make a lovely itch to stitch Sibiu top as well. The one with the cow um, neck on it. So that was £4 for two metres of that. And then the final thing I bought, which you might be quite surprised at, is another dark colour. It's another knit fabric. So this would make a lovely sort of coat, coatigan, um, cardigan, anything like that. It's a gorgeous knitted fabric, as you can see. Um, and it's got this kind of, just trying to give you an idea of the pattern that runs through it. And I love this kind of style. Now I know it's sort of gray and black, which is not something I wear very often. But I really did like it and I thought for £2 a metre, I'm going to get um, a couple of metres of this. So I did, I got two metres of that as well and it's quite a wide fabric so there's plenty there to cut with. So that is my haul from Barry's. So you've got um, two, four, six, nine metres of fabric from Barry's. So we're doing quite well here aren't we? So yeah, let me just put this away in the bag. Bear with me, Paula. I need to keep it all tidy. So from Barry's, we went across to um, Mose Exchange and Guthrie Garney. So we went to Mose Exchange first. And as I said, they had some stores upstairs where um, Pigeon Wishes was. And um, I always, always love looking at um, buttons. As you can imagine, I make my own buttons. Um, but I love um, seeing what other people do, getting ideas, um, seeing how they run their colours. And Pigeon Wishes buttons are beautiful. Um, I'm just trying to open them, so sorry if you can hear the rummaging, but I really want to show you these. Now, I've, I've looked at these quite a few times. And these have got purples and reds and whites. And they're done in that kind of tortoiseshell type colouring. So hopefully you can see that. Okay. I just think they're stunning. So I got a bag of them. I think they were £10. I thought they were a very reasonable price for the amount that you get in the pack. 
and they are 15 mil buttons. So yeah, that was the purchase that I made from Pigeon Wishes and I've got lots of things in my uh, fabric that they're in my fabric, in my stash that they will go with. So the other place that I went to whilst we were there was the um, shop called The Little World of Fabric, which was a shop that stopped Liberty. Now I had said to um, Adele when we were over there that I've never bought Liberty fabric. Um, the prints don't really appeal to me or the prints that I've seen, I've never really looked at Liberty. Um, but the prints I'd seen, which is the typical sort of small floral ditzy prints, they're just not my cup of tea. Um, and she said, you need to look at them because they've got loads of prints. It's just finding that right print. And when we got there and you started feeling them, you could understand what the hype is about the Tana lawns. Um, and then on top of that, you um, they had a bit of a variety of all the prints. They had loads of fat quarters, so I could see lots of examples of the prints and they had some Becky colours there. And then Adele pulled this one out for me and said, this one is very you. And I ended up purchasing a metre and a half. But I got this at a bargain price because this is this season, I believe. And I think it's in the shops for £27.50 a metre. And I got this for £20 a metre. And it's got these gorgeous, vivid pinks and greens on this black background and you've got my signature colours in here and it is just stunning I don't think it's coming up on camera as well as it should be but it's lovely and I got a meter and a half of this with the intentions of making a blouse so there we go And we did see this over at Guthrie Garney as well afterwards, and it was £27 a metre. So I'm really pleased that I went upstairs and I bought it, because if I'd seen this on the shelf, I think I might have been tempted to purchase it. Um, but yeah, so that was my first ever Liberty Buy, and I purchased that from upstairs. So that was the extent of what I bought upstairs um, in the Mosley Exchange, but we did have a good look around. Um, Adele had a whale of a time at the Liberty stand. Let's just put it that way. So we then went to Guthrie and Garney. Where I made the last of my purchases. Before I talk you through what I'd actually purchased from there, I want to show the fabric that I got off of the swaps table. So I had popped three metres of fabric down and... I bumped into a lovely lady in Barry's that was going to Sobrum and she had her bag, her fabric in the bag that she was going to put on the swaps table and I spotted it in her bag straight away and said, oh, that fabric's really nice. Where did you get that from? And she went, oh, it's going on the swaps table over at um, Guthrie and Garney. I was like, oh, OK, no worries. Didn't think anything of it at that point. Now, the fabric has got a couple of... Um, faults in it but there's plenty here to work around and when I got there and I put my fabric on I saw immediately this fabric in the background I was like, I'm going to get it I'm having it I'm having it so this is the fabric it's this tubular 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 how do I say it so it's like in a tube and I would say it's like a, a ponty type fabric I don't know how to describe this looks like a ponty but it's covered in leopard print it's very neutral colors it's not coming up on the screen the color it is it is like a dusty pinky color but not the kind of pink that i don't like if that makes sense anybody who's watched me long enough will know what i mean by that um and it's got it's like got ombre effects all the way through it if anybody knows what this kind of fabric is or why it's tubular please let me know because I'm amazed. There's no stitching in it. It is literally just in a tube. Um, and then you've got this line down the side. So I imagine that I can cut this line here. I don't know. I'm very confused by this. But um, I got that. And there is one, two and a half metres of this fabric um, that I can use. Yeah, that's the end of it. So you can see that that's the bit that you can... 
open up. So yeah, it's quite thick. This would make a lovely cardigan. It'd make a lovely dress. It'd make lovely lots of things. So I've got lots of options with that as well. So that was from the swaps table. Then we had, we went downstairs and had a bit of a mooch and Lauren came down and let us know that they were going to be drawing the raffle. So I stopped looking, left Adele in charge of the bits I'd picked up and uh, went upstairs to listen to see if I'd won anything. Now I never win anything and Adele and I have been having a bit of a grump about the fact that I never win, well we never win at the social on the raffle and just so happened she won the um, Mind the Make fabric that was going last month. So when my name got drawn first, I was very, very surprised. And I'd won a lovely gift by Beyond Measure. Uh, I was told to go down to um, Charlotte and pick it up. And it, was, it came very neatly wrapped in this box here, which is a beautiful box. It's really good condition. It's quite thick. And um, there was like a lovely little ribbon on it. And then in the box, there was some haberdashery items. So there was a magnetic button for storing your pins made from traditional Japanese ceramic ware. Um, a mini pin cushion with the cypress wood from the Key Mountains and Banshu weave fabric um, from Japan. A pair of Kohana Seki mini snips. Try saying that 10 times over. Um, then there is a pack of super sharp tulip tins with handmade glass heads made in Japan, two spools of organic th cotton thread um, made by Scamfill in the EU and a sturdy embossed storage box made in Sheffield. We hope that this, these things give you years of pleasure and you can find more of our beautiful tools and supplies and gifts for makers on our website shopbeyondmeasure.co.uk and I will pop the link to the shop down below but this is everything that was in there just so I can show you it was a bit more beautifully wrapped than this it was all nicely spread out but obviously I've been in had a look and a little play so these are my um, glass head pins that I won and these are the little mini snips and I'm just going to show you the snips because they are amazing I mean this little um pouch that they come in is just so cute with the little tassel and then these are the snips here they're just lovely so yeah i think they're cute that i think i just wanted to like use them as decorative i'm sure they are actually able to be used but i just want to use them as decorative because they're just so lovely this is my little pin cushion which i thought was so pretty so so pretty and um, it has got a flat bottom so i can rest it on the table and then this is the lovely magnetic button for my pins. So nice as well. Um, I think that's just, it's just really ornate. It's just a beautiful thing to have in your collection. And then the two um, spools of cotton and they're organic cotton. I mean, I don't ever have call for organic cotton, but there's two spools of organic cotton. It's baby blue type colour. I know it's coming up quite greeny um, and pink. So that was what I won. Now for what I purchased at Guthrie Garney. I've never been to Guthrie Garney. I'm 21 minutes into me showing you just what I bought. Um, I've never purchased at Guthrie Garney. I was quite impressed with what I got. You do get a discount at Guthrie Garney as well um, because you were part of Sobram. So I actually spent £66.67 in Guthrie Garney. And I saved £11 on what I'd purchased. So, in Gothigani, they've got loads of little um, remnants, like uh, chests that you can go through. And we were all having a bit of a rummage around. And the first one that I came across was like a pink knitted fabric. And I picked it up and I was umming and ahhing about it. And it was just shy of a metre. And I was just, I just don't know if I'm going to get anything out of just shy of a metre. Then I saw this cream marl knit and it's literally a meter, which definitely makes it more possible to get it out of. So I picked up this. Now this was £14.50, so it's a meter of this, 
feels lovely and again it's just another thing that is a staple in your wardrobe so i was really pleased to find that and so that was a little remnant from the remnant bin then whilst we were also looking in the remnant bin um i love the cozy colors i've got a red tracksuit in them i had a lighter green which i ended up selling on my d stash because it just wasn't my color but i do like the forest color green um sort of like that petrol-y kind it's not the petrol color it's the green color um there you go cozy colors emerald green sweatshirt and just read the tag becky um so i saw this now adela picked it up because she likes cozy colors as well um but she let me let me have it um which i thought was really nice she said she's got quite a bit of this in her stash cozy colors is quite a lightweight sweatshirt in my eyes however even though it's lightweight it's really warm and I live in my cozy colors joggers and I did live in my cozy colors sweatshirt my hoodie that matched it until I spilt resin all down it um now this was 18 pound 50 but I got 1.3 meters as a remnant piece and I thought that was a really nice chunky piece and I could get a toaster sweater out of this which is what I'm thinking of making so I was really pleased with that find as well I know that the fabric washes and wears well then I saw this, which is not seasonal at all, but I was just like, oh, I've got to have it. And Adele knew instantly why I'd said that, because I have been after this fabric for ages in this colour. And I'm going to just unravel it because I want to show you it unravelled. Now, I don't know why I haven't bought it. The first time I saw it, I didn't purchase it. I couldn't justify spending however much it was a metre. It's a double gauze fabric. Um, and I just, I was, yeah, umming and ahhing about what to do. And then I never went back and got it. I paid £14.50 for 1.2 metres of this. And it's a double gauze and it's in the colour, exact colour that I wanted. And it is this one here. So it's the one with the really large check on one side and then the small check on the other side. I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. I am just so pleased to have seen it in the remnant bin. And like I said, I, I'm i just, I, I'm really excited. Might even just do like a Soho House 7, seven rag, no, Raglan blouse with this, but I just can't wait to make something up with it. This, I say it might not be seasonal, but the thing about double gauze is it is an all year round um, fabric that you can wear all year round really so that was um the other remnant that i purchased from guthrie garni then i started looking around the fabric fabrics now there were so many to choose from in there um and obviously they are, the prices are slightly steeper in there so by this point i was conscious of my budget conscious of how much fabric i'd already acquired and the fact that I didn't need any fabric really going into to, into yesterday. So <laughs> I was very conscious of that. And it made me tighter and made me think more about what it was I was going to buy. I've just put that on awfully. So when I saw this, and wait, it's more when I felt this, I kept going back to it because it just felt amazing. Um... I had to, I, I just gave in and I was like, I'm going to have this. I think this was, I've got to see it here. So this is called a pine green viscose blended knit. And it is, £14, I want to say it's £14.90 a metre. But my maths might be really bad there because I'm just dividing it. I've got two metres of this. Um, so it's green, it's plain. And it's just this gorgeous, thick knit. And honestly, if you feel this, it is just the most loveliest thing to feel. To have this against my skin. It's quite thick as well. So I just want to show you, just to give you an indication of how thick it is. Um it's just beautiful and it's so soft so so soft so there's enough there to make a jumper dress there's enough there to make a jumper there's enough there to make a big thick cardigan now i do think this will be a jumper because it's a lovely color on me again it's another color i wear quite well um and i just think if it's a jumper i'll get more wear out of it i am thinking i'd like a cow neck jumper um i did think it would look lovely as the toaster sweater which is the version with just the funnel neck 
um but i want something sort of slightly long because how i would probably wear this and um get maximum wear out of it would actually be um with a pair of leggings so at the moment i've got some thick leggings on that have got um that fleecy kind of warmth underneath and this jumper is long enough that it just covers my bottom um which if i'm going to wear leggings i like it to go i like to have my backside covered um and i just think this would be perfect to make a cow neck jumper that's long enough um to wear leggings with but then it'd also make a really really beautiful jumper dress and there is enough there to do that um you've got the seam work devon dress that would be good i've got that pattern um equally the so house seven the raglan sleeve version would be lovely um i could extend that and make that longer um it'd make an excellent south bank sweater dress um maybe without putting the bottom band on it and just lengthening it a little bit that's a good option because that's got a nice shape to it as well not put pockets in um yeah there's just just a few things that i can think of off the top of my head that fabric would be perfect for so that is everything i bought that is the haul that i got so i got one two three four five meters of fabric from guthrie garney I got a nice big chunky piece of fabric from, so two and a half metres of fabric from the swaps table at Guthrie Garnet. And I got um, a metre and a half of Liberty fabric. Um, yeah, I would say that I got plenty of fabric. Um, but I got all of that, including some really nice, spectacular fabrics in there. And I'd only spent my budget. So I am really, really impressed. And I thought I did really well at Guthrie Garney. I could have gone mad. There was a fabric that the lovely Claire, who's over on Instagram, I think she's called Loves Red or something like that. I will pop her Instagram handle down below. Um, she bought a fabric that I know, um, she was wearing a fabric that I know Adele bought, but she bought a fabric that was just stunning. And I looked at it in the shop, but because it was a viscose, I was wary about buying it because I thought, well, that'll end up going in my stash till next year because I won't make it up. So yeah, right, I'm happy with that. I think that's enough. I'm not gonna waffle at you anymore. So that is So Brum. I would highly recommend So Brum to anybody that hasn't been. Um, you can go on your own. There's plenty of people there to talk to, but it's also an amazing day out for sewing friends. Um, it, it was just an amazing day out with sewing friends. I didn't get to do it last year because I was so poorly and I'm so pleased I got to do it this year. And what's even more, I'm so pleased with the two lovely ladies that I got to spend it with. Somebody who is becoming a very close friend of mine, who is Adele from Sew for Serenity and the lovely Grace, of course, who is the Nan that sews over at MK. The Nan that sews at MK um, on Instagram and I'll link her handle down below as well if you want to go and check out her Instagram because she's got some spectacular makes on there so thank you very much for taking the time to watch me don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you are watching my content and you're not a subscriber which there are a few of you out there I really really would like it if you could subscribe it doesn't cost you anything to click that subscribe button it just shares with you when I release new vlogs Take care, guys. Have a fantastic week. Happy sewing, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.